another vlog. I was just telling Jessica, she just left and I was like, uh, she's like, have you started your vlog yet? And I was like, no. I was like, I did some like shots of it being all rainy and stuff this morning, but I haven't done anything since. And she's like, why? I was like, I'm just so awkward when I start a vlog. So I was like, I'm just gonna do it. So welcome to another vlog. Now we've started, now we can go. Uh, so I've been gone for a while. We, uh, I didn't mean to be gone as long as I was. We ended up go, so we went to New York in early July. And I knew it was gonna take like two weeks off just cause we were really needing it and we were excited to go to New York and all that. So I was like, we're just gonna go and relax and enjoy New York, which was a blast. So glad we went. It was so much fun. We got to see some really cool shows. Um, I talked a little bit about it on my Instagram and stuff if you guys wanted to see that. Um, but then uh, <laughs> we got home. All four of us ended up getting sick within the course of like 10 days. And then uh, let's see, what else? Then I've been in meetings like all day every day for the past, like, I swear, two weeks. So anyway, ended up taking basically the entire month of July off. That was not the plan, but here we are. Because for the first half of the year, I've been, I've been keeping up for the most part about doing two or three videos a week, but then July was just July. So here we are, we're back, gonna do some vlogs, gonna do all kinds of fun stuff coming up. So um, here we go, awkward part over. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> There's plenty of awkward to come, just wait. Um, I was just gonna say, I uh, I had made a little list here because I was like, what am I gonna even do in the next few days? So the uh, so tomorrow we're planning on going to Costco. We'll see what comes to pass, but this is what our plan is for the next like uh, three or four days. So uh, we're planning on going to Costco tomorrow. So I'll film a little bit of that. Everybody loves a good Costco run. Uh, I'm training for a marathon. So I'm gonna talk about that a little bit, I think on Sunday. Uh, tomorrow we're doing this thing in our town. It's called Bruise on the Boulevard. Um, and uh, Ben and Emily are gonna be there and it'll be fun. So that'll be, uh, we've never done it before, but they do things like this every once in a while. I think we vlogged about it in another one on, maybe it's on Jessica's channel. I don't remember now. Um, but anyway, so we'll talk about that. Um, I got a new uh, Blackstone grill that I have been cooking everything on. I'll talk a little bit about that. We might go see the Barbie movie next week. I don't know, we'll see. So anyway, lots of fun stuff coming up and then I'm sure I'll find some other random fun things to talk about along the way too. So hopefully you will enjoy this video because it's happening. <laughs> so one project that I've been working on uh, for, I guess off and on, a couple months at least now and I'm almost done with it and I cannot wait to be done with it, um, is getting all of our Disney trip stock footage organized. So all the B-roll I've ever taken is all getting organized. And the reason for that is if you didn't know, Jessica and I started a podcast, few months ago at least now maybe gosh when was that like er, springtime anyway we just uploaded episode 10 uh but up until now i've been the one editing it and the reason why at least part of it so part of it is that i just wanted you when you first start something like i didn't know exactly aesthetically what i wanted it to look like and how it was going to flow and how was it going to look but all that so anyway so whenever we talk about something in the podcast if I have footage of it, I'll try and put that over us talking in the video version, obviously not on the audio version, duh. But on the video version, I put, I'll put, so say we're talking about something in Magic Kingdom, I'll put some footage over that. So if you're not as familiar with the Disney parks or with anything that we're talking about, there's footage to go over it. The problem is up until now, everything is organized in my folders by trip. So like I can think through in my head, I'm like, okay, I know when we went and when we stayed at the Riviera and I can go pull footage from the Riviera. Whereas if anybody else is editing it, it would take them so long to try and go through all these folders and they would have to ask me like, where is this footage, whatever. So I'm organizing it and now it'll all be in this folder here that I'm going to send off to our editors, Justin and Lacey, so they can start editing the podcast, which is going to be huge. It's gonna take like two or three days every other week giving me back with the amount of editing and that kind of stuff. So like now, so like if they're looking for something in the parks, like if we talk about Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, they can go into the parks, they can go into Magic Kingdom, they can go into rides. They can go into, where is it? Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. And here's all the footage I have of Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. So when we're talking about that, they can easily pull this footage and put it over us talking. And that is going to be a huge game changer, both just in the amount of time that it takes to find all this footage and all that kind of stuff. And then the, having them edit is gonna be huge. So I'm really, really excited about that. I have like three trips left to go through and pull all the footage from and then I'm done. So I've got to get a hard drive to copy all of this new organized footage on, and I'm going to mail it to them, and then they can start editing the podcast, which is going to be awesome. <sighs> okay, it's 4.45. My workday is finally done. Uh, I just counted. I have had 14, no, 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 16, 16 Zoom meetings this week, but it's Friday at 5 p.m., and I am finally done with Zoom meetings for this week, and I am very excited about that. So, um, I'm going to go relieve my mom. She's about to go. Um, and then I think I'm going to try and go on a run 
I don't even know if it's, I'm down in the basement. I don't even know if it's nice outside. It was earlier because um, it was so rainy this morning and it was like sunny this afternoon. So I'm going to go relieve her and then maybe Jessica and I are going to trade off doing workouts. And then I think I have a couple projects I might try and work on tonight. We'll see. We'll see how the night goes. Family trip to the grocery store. I completely forgot that uh, I needed to go to the post office. So we went and did that. We have to go to the grocery store. So here we are. Family affair. Family trip to the grocery store. Um, okay, so two quick things. One, I love these cherries, like the cherries with the pits in them, but they always come in like a bag and they're so big that I'm, and I'm the only one in our family that eats them. So I end up like either not getting them just because I'm not going to eat them or I eat way too many cherries in a short amount of time. So this is smaller, <laughs> but it says, uh, my, I was like, oh, they don't look like they're like ready, but it says my caramel glow means I'm super sweet. So we're going to try it. Very interested. Also, this Kroger has a piano player up there. I don't know, I don't know why they do, but I'm here for it. I'm very, very here for it. Yeah. All right, it is dinner time. We are having Scoot and it makes me laugh because I told Jessica, I'm like, I'm pretty sure the last time we had Scoot was like during Vlogmas. <laughs> And it it's just been a long time. Well, you know why I thought about it tonight? Why? I did my weeknight dinners video. And in a oh, comment, yeah. someone said, oh my gosh, I still make scoop from a previous weeknight dinners video. And I literally, I think I even commented back. I was like, okay, now you're making me hungry. And I'm like, ah, we're making how tonight, But so. yeah, how funny though. And I just happened to start a vlog I'm today and here we are. I feel like people are like, all they eat is scoot. <laughs> scoot and peanut butter crunch is all the prawns eat. Do, um, <laughs> y'all know, there is a, yeah, anyway. Um... We did ground turkey today for the meat though. We usually do ground beef or we've done lentils, but ground turkey. I feel like it's still pretty good. I like the texture of the meat better than the lentils. Yeah, I like the but lentils better. It's a little healthier than beef, so yeah, it's just one of those things. All right, we're heading to Costco. Casco. Are we just talking about it though? And it's like, all right, I'm just gonna film a little bit at Costco here for, uh, for this vlog. And then Jessica's like, you know how we are when we go to Costco. Yeah, I was like, we Why don't you just do a film a, we're used to filming a whole video at Costco. So I'm going to do a separate video for this Costco. So th I'm assuming that'll come out next. So look out for that here soon. <laughs> or maybe it's already out. Maybe you changed the order up. I don't know. We'll just anyway. have to see. Yeah, also we're giggling. I have a hat that says Nantucket. Your hat says New York. New York. Rep, rep in the East Coast. Anyway. I was just laughing about last night because I'm writing my travel journal i'll write like notes and stuff while we're there but then i actually like write out my travel journal and uh i was laughing because when we were there at the statue of liberty <laughs> there was this like this team of people there's ferries coming over from new york that are going to uh liberty island then ellis island and all of a sudden like we're standing in line to go to ellis island and they come in on the other ship and they're like get over there get over there and we're all like okay like and, it, and i was just thinking about Oh like, yeah, that's right. Like, I mean. At no point did they make an announcement like, hey, if you're going to Ellis Island, we're now going to use this dock. But they're all mad at us already, even though no, at no point did anyone tell us. And they made we this. And we're like, is this going to Ellis Island? I'm like, yeah. And we're like, what? We're like, this <laughs> wasn't the original one. A sign on it that says, to New Jersey. And we're like, we're like okay. okay. And I'm obviously like, it worked out. But there was a woman that was probably in her like late 50s. And everyone was just hopping because they're yelling at us. But they wanted us to follow the line around and then go over to this other boat which was fine, but a lot of people just started hopping over like the little partitions, which really was not a big deal because all they already knew who all was going on this boat, which included these people. <laughs> and they made, this dude grabbed this woman and said, go back, back in line. Yeah. So they she made her climb back over and then follow in line like she was in and kindergarten. Her, yeah, and I she, was like, this is awful. She had to have been 50. I'm pretty sure she, she didn't speak English. She has yeah. no idea what's going on. And they're just yelling at her. And I'm like, do you think they like sit back in the back like, all right, let's give these people a real New York experience. <laughs> this is what they're paying for. <laughs> all right, show begins in three, two, one. <laughs> Talking about all these divisive issues over here. And I was like, all right, no, no divisive issues. Um, so uh, we're in our town. Like I said, we're at this uh, brew fest. Was it last month we went to, they had a wine fest and now they're doing the beer fest, which is really cool. Um, and uh, I was kind of hoping we would have more uh, like off the wall kind of random breweries. It's kind of a lot of breweries we see everywhere when we're here in Indiana, uh, which is still cool. Um, but uh, we are also here with our friends. <laughs> they drove all the way here. It was 20 minutes. I had to take it's a off trek. Work on <laughs> yeah, it's a trek to get up here, but uh, they made it.
Sunday, so I it is almost 7 a.m. right now. Uh, I'm about to go on a run. I'm gonna. So I know I mentioned this a little bit. So I'm doing. I'm training for a marathon in October of this year. So I really. I started a little bit late. Not too bad. I was like a uh, the the training program I'm doing was an 18 week training program. I started at 15 weeks and I'm now I think 13 weeks. So um, I didn't start the, at the very beginning. So it's picking up a little bit faster than what I probably should have, but it is set to be on the race day. So um, anywho, I'm gonna go out. today. I'm doing a 10 mile run. Last week I did eight and then it'll be 10 this week. Um, and I <laughs> haven't been running much. So it's been fun kind of shaking off the cobwebs and um, you know getting back into it. But the, Whereas, oh, I was going to say, the training program I'm doing is the Nike Running Club app, which I know I've talked about in the past before, but I just love that app. And they, they, long story short, they had gotten rid of a lot of their training programs and now they're back. And so they're better than what they even used to be. So the one I'm using now is the marathon training program. And even if you're doing like a, you're training for a one mile run or a 5K or a 10K or whatever, they have some awesome training programs. So if this is something you ever wanted to get into or thinking about doing, um, I know some of my agents were just talking about how they have a race coming up in January and they're like, well, you know, what do I even do? Some of them have never run a race before and they're thinking about doing a 5K or a 10K. And it's just awesome. I just love this app so much and it's all free. So anywho, without any further ado, cause I could just sit here and procrastinate for a long time. Um, <laughs> I just got myself an espresso and uh, I got my water and then I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna try and click in at like a, nine and a half minute pace my goal for the marathon is to do it under four hours that's like the ultimate goal so that in order to do that i'll have to do that at like a nine minute pace so today obviously i've still got a long way i'm still just just shaking off the cobwebs like i said um today i'm doing like a nine and a half minute pace that's my goal anyway so i'm off i'll be back in about an hour and a half i'll let you know how it goes <laughs> uh the nice thing is it's like 65 degrees outside it's sunny it is like the most perfect day to go on an, on a run. All the girls are still asleep. They'll probably be up by the time I get back, but this is perfect running weather. <laughs> Goal achieved, 10 miles done. And uh, it was actually a great run. I ended up feeling better than I thought I would. I think because it was cooler out, the route I chose um, was uh, had a lot of shade. So that really helped. And like I said, it was nice. It was just a beautiful morning. And so um, I think I ended up doing like a 9.15 pace the first half, and then I ended up picking it up for the last half. So I ended at a 9.03 average um which was actually even better than i thought it, i was gonna get so that was i'm pretty happy with that i need to try and get that pace down a little bit more so that way obviously if i'm doing a 10 mile run i should be able to run that a little bit faster than running um a full marathon but what's kind of crazy is uh i have a chart that shows like what the average you know should be so like again this is every runner is different everything is different but like if you are gonna try and run a uh what am i trying to say a sub four hour full marathon you're around like a 908 pace but then if you do like if you if that is your marathon pace your one mile pace should be around seven minutes and 30 seconds um and so on and so forth and then it goes up but what's crazy is when you look at like a half marathon your average pace should be like 845 and then your full marathon pace should be like a 905 so like it's there's not much difference once you get past a certain amount of miles um it's just about i think finding that pace and just maintaining it. But like I said, I love this Nike running app. Um, if you are interested in running at all, if, 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 whether you've run a lot, whether you've not run a lot, it is such a good app. I was just thinking on it on my run today. Um, the ones that I do are guided runs. So they have non-guided runs and they have guided runs, or you can just hit it and go. Um, and then the guided runs though, um, there's a head coach, what's his name? Um, Chip Bennett, I think is his name. And he is, awesome and he's so motivating and like he comes in like you have your your own music playing or whatever you're listening to but then he'll come in every so often and just kind of give you some inspirational stuff and tell you some some running tips and tricks and just how to become a better runner and like why we run and all this stuff it's just really really inspiring so if you're interested in running you're thinking about doing it but you're not really sure how to start or if you've been running a while and like he does these things like halfway like at mile seven he came in he's like all right pick up the pace for a quarter mile and I was like, I'm not, I would never do that. I don't want to do that. That sounds terrible seven miles in. Like the last thing I want to do is pick up the pace. Then he comes back in and he's like, see, the reason that I had you do that is because I want you to know that you have more in the tank than what you think you have. You might think that you're tired, but you always can give more. And I'm like, man, that was inspiring. So <laughs> I love it. Jessica did it the other day and she didn't really like it. I've been doing it for years now. And so I just kind of get used to it. On the shorter runs, it does get a little bit uh, much if you're doing because he comes in a little bit too often, but especially once you get like a past a 5k, he only comes in 
every so often. So you're listening to your music and you're listening to him and stuff. Um, but I, Jessica didn't like it because he came in too much on the 5k run that she did, which I get. So anyway, if you're, I really like it. It really works for me. If you're maybe thinking about doing, doing some running or something like that, maybe it would work for you too. I really like it. All right. I'm going to go shower. Yeah, I'm gonna go shower. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is the black stone that uh, I got, what, two weeks ago, give or take. Mm -hmm. We have been making everything out here. <laughs> because this is basically just anything you can make in a pan on a stove, you, you can, can use this here. for. It well, is... even, like, my best example, I was telling someone else the other day, it's like even fried rice, though. Like, you can make the rice inside, but then you can, like, fry it up mm -hmm. with the egg and stuff and kind of get it all mixed. And so it's, it's like, oh, my gosh. Hibachi too. Yeah, it has been amazing. Like, I've yeah. made breakfast food out here, like, bacon and eggs, and uh, I made a bunch of pancakes, and I can make, sandwiches. like... sandwiches, I'm also doing avocado toast. Yep. Shocker for me. I can make, like, 12 pancakes. No, even more than that, like, at a time. It was so awesome. Um, we've made uh, bulgogi bowls out here. We've made... Uh, uh, patty melts. Vegetables is great. Those patty melts. Um, Potatoes. Any kind, yep. There's all kinds of good stuff. And so I've been, like I said, anytime I can possibly cook out here, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, I've been cooking out here. But the and other then, thing is, like, I feel comfortable. And I, that's what I was just going to say. Yeah. Yeah. This is my own thing. Like, with grills, I'm like, I'm not going to. And this, like I said, I know a lot of you guys watching are like, I grill out all the time. And maybe you're, I don't know. But my point is, I don't, <laughs> I don't know why, but I don't feel as comfortable with it all. But like this, I'm like, oh, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. like cooking on a pan. Yeah, it's amazing. And so the I got the one. Um, they 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 started like three ninety nine, which I think is pretty reasonable for a grill, uh, like or an outdoor grill. Like I feel like some of those yeah. like uh, what's that uh, brand? Ooh, um, ooh, um, just get so expensive. Yeah. Like that over there, I think we paid I don't know two fifty for that propane grill when we first moved in. It still works just fine. Um, this one I upgraded to like the second tier or maybe the third tier because it has this table that pulls out. And then the legs go down there. I don't have to show you, yeah. but they have that extra workspace here, and it had the cabinet underneath, which I thought was huge because also, just you were saying, some of them don't come with a cover, which I'm like, what? The ones on Amazon didn't. Yeah, that's you right. Had to buy the cover separate, so that's something to keep I got in this mind at Lowe's, and it, it came with a lid. But yeah, and maybe it wasn't the Blackstone brand. Maybe it was something else. But um, anyway, so I've been absolutely loving this. We've been cooking so much outside because I feel like with a the grill, there's only so much you can do. This is so versatile. I still want to get a big green egg though and or something like that where i can smoke because i feel like that's just a different entirely different thing that's all that's what that's a lot to talk about the, uh, the black zone there anyway absolutely love it for the couple weeks we've had it we just got home we went to my uncle's house and he has a boat he lives on a really nice big lake here in town and we got to go out there that was so fun it's just we just he's got a, like a pontoon boat and it was kind of unexpected it was like a last minute thing um but it was just so nice i've never been out on it before you went out on it once for like a when you were there for like a bridal shower um anyway it was just beautiful these just unbelievably massive homes and it was like the water was calm um he said sunday later in the day it gets super duper busy but we just happened to get out there at a time when it wasn't all that busy anyway that was a blast now we're gonna eat our lunch that's all i think for now well happy sunday evening it is uh it's only like seven o'clock like not even quite seven thirty yet um jess and i were going to do uh dinner tonight we were going to do chicken breast and the like, sweet potatoes and stuff like that but since it's a little bit later for dinner, we decided we're just going to do leftovers, which is good because we still have so many leftovers in the fridge from this last week. It's been crazy. So uh, we're going to split. We have some scoop from the other night, and then we've got this pasta that Jessica made in her week weeknight um, dinners. The I don't know if that video is up yet or not, but if not, it will be up soon. But she did this pasta in the weeknight dinners. It's very good. So we're both going to have some of both of those. No, they have a cabinet. <laughs> Yeah, the pantry. Um, but we've decided that we're going to do a movie. And so we were looking through, we have, we have a list of movies because whenever we see a movie, like we don't ever you know watch it right away, but we always forget about it. So we started making a list on our phones, like a shared note, which has been awesome. And so we just looked at it together and I think we're going to watch Fool's Paradise, which is the new Charlie Day movie. And I don't really know anything about it other than the fact that I think it was written, directed, and stars Charlie Day. If I remember right, when I saw... Because I remember watching the preview and I was like, I just added it right away. I think it's got like a crazy cast. I think like Jason Bateman's in it. Um, Jason Sudeikis. Like, I, I, it looks awesome. Like uh, some of the guys from Horrible Bosses. And anyway, so I'm really excited about that. And we're going to heat this up and go do that right now. I'll let you know how the movie is. And I know the dinner is going to be good. So just know already the dinner's the dinner was good. Dinner was good. We'll, I'll let you know about the movie. <laughs> Hi friends. I just realized that I have not vlogged at all today. We've been super busy. Um, so I also didn't talk about the movie last night. So we watched Fool's Paradise. Um, I liked it. I didn't love it. I thought it was good. 
I think my expectations were way too high because I just love Charlie Day and this cast list was just like insane. Like it, it was, like I said yesterday, like everyone was in it. Um, so I liked it. I think it was good. I don't think it was great. Um, but uh, I mean, if, you, if it streams for free somewhere, maybe watch it. We paid $5 to watch it, like to rent it yesterday. So I don't know if it's, I don't know. Um, but like I said, I love It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I love Charlie Day. And I, so I think my expectation, expectations were just really high. Anywho, um, I'm going to try and go work out. It's almost four-ish, I think, four, four thirty. Um, and then Jessica is on a run right now. She's about to go pick up the girls. When she gets back, I'm going to do a few things around the house and try and get dinner ready before she gets back after my workout. I think that's it for now. There's a little, little catch up for you. Yeah, I think that's all I got. I'll talk to you later. Um, I do have something exciting to tell you guys, but I can't yet. It's the reason that Jessica and I have been so busy today. It's a big surprise, big secret, big surprise. Very exciting stuff. Can't tell you now though, I'll tell you later. I was trying to get this boy to come inside, but he says, no, I'm gonna sit outside in the sun. Are you happy, Pinocchio? Yeah, that way happy stuff. All right, workout is done. Um, I'm glad I got it done. The, uh, it was, it was, there was a bunch of like fits and starts the whole time because the thing that I was just hinting at a minute ago, I had a bunch of phone calls in between where I had to kind of stop and take phone calls. So it wasn't a great workout, but it's done nevertheless. So Jessica's on her way home with the girls right now. I wanted to show you guys something though here really fast that I'm gonna try and get finished before they, they get back. I'll show you. Okay, so we have this water table that we got and the girls love coming out here and playing with it. It's like one of their all-time favorite things to do. Both Genevieve and Felicity just love it. And so it's great because they can come out here. It's not like on a nice day. Like when they get home, they'll probably come out and play with it. But it always gets so dirty so fast. And the problem is it also gets like slimy, like the things if they sit in the water and obviously, you know, kids are not necessarily known for their tidiness. So they don't, you know, put take the toys out and all that kind of stuff. So we bought this cover and the cover works really well. But in order for the cover to work really well, it has to be on the water table and i would say about half the time <laughs> it doesn't get put back on whether it's me or jessica or whether it's you know one of our parents or whether it's a babysitter or whatever <laughs> we never put it on so the problem is then it just gets dirty and all that kind of stuff so as long as we keep the cover on it the water stays really clean we try and always take the toys out um and then just like hang them up so they all dry and that kind of stuff and that makes a big difference too um but sometimes obviously life gets in the way and we just leave it so Usually what I do is I take this water and I will use it to water the plants and that kind of stuff. But we've had a ton of rain, so the plants don't really need it. So I'm just going to drain it this time and refill it. But <laughs> I'm going to have to clean it all out when uh, when I get that all done. But anyway, so I'm going to try and do that before they get home. So that way when I'm making dinner tonight, they, they can come out here and play and have a good time while uh, I'm getting dinner ready. All right, I got all the toys out. Those are over here drying. I'm going to kind of wipe them off a little bit. Then I have uh, all the water drained. It's all good to go. And then I'm going to wipe it out right now and then refill it. And I'll show you a little trick that I have here in just a second. Okay, I got it all wiped out. And look at who's here. Look who just got home. Say hi, Felicity. You say hi. Hi. Yeah. Do you want me to fill the water table? Uh. Here, I'll put water in it. This is your favorite when I do it like this. Let me show you. When I fill it from up here. Look, Lissy, look. Here we go. Because it looks like it rains. That's what, that's Felicity's favorite. You like that? Cool. Okay, so here's that hack. We haven't tried this yet, so it might not work. I mean, I think it would. So we actually bought this for when we go on trips. Sometimes we'll buy like a two gallon or five gallon thing of water and we'll just drink the water out of it. Um, so you don't have to like pour the jug or you don't have to use that like little spigot. Anyway, so we saw that you can use these because like I said, Felicity's favorite thing is to have the water come up here and then it like rains down. Mm -hmm. but we're constantly filling it and pouring it up. So somebody, was it on TikTok you saw it or something, Jessica? Everywhere, yep. Said you can just drill a hole slightly larger because there's already a hole in here. Um, and so you just drill this ever so slightly larger. I just grabbed a 5 16th bit here and then, okay, that should be good. What are you doing? You're going to see. This will be cool. And then just feed this tube up through here because there's a stopper on the other end. So you have to go up this way and then attach this. Needless to say, we're not going to be using this for drinking water anymore. Right. But yeah, these are on Amazon. There's like a million different kinds. They're all, they all do the same thing. And then you can just make sure that's fit into the water there. And then let's give it a try. I was like, is it charged? 
<laughs> oh my gosh, it actually works. Lucy, look. That's so funny. <laughs> this is great. Oh my gosh. Here, I wonder. Like I figured it would work, but it's awesome that it actually works. I wonder if we, hold on, let me try it this way. If I kind of fill it up. Give and it a head that start. keeps it going. Keeps the water flow happening. I kind of doubt it. I don't think I can get enough water in there. That doesn't pump it fast enough, but. You never know. Yeah, I thought scientifically that wouldn't work out, but hey. But hey, that's, that's I tried it. this is great. This, this is, is better so cool. than not. It's pretty Let's exciting. See. She said, I want the machine. <laughs> Well, 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 good evening and welcome to an abbreviated cutting board. I'm going to show you really fast here. I've already got it all prepped and then I'll show you when it's all done. Uh, this is one of our favorite weeknight dinners too. So we just do chicken breast. Usually what I'll do is either grill them outside or we'll bake them, but I'm actually going to try them on my Blackstone. I haven't tried chicken breast on there before. I've done like chicken strips and a few other things, but I'm excited to see how these turn out. Then we have cauliflower that I'm going to turn into buffalo cauliflower. So I bake that. And then at the end, I'll put on the buffalo sauce. So then we have, finally, we have sweet potatoes, which I have cubed. And then all three of these have olive oil, salt, and pepper. Super duper easy. I bake these at 450 for about 20 minutes. I bake these at 500 for about 10. And these, we'll see how those turn out of the Blackstone. But these, once I, so I actually bake them covered. And then they, like I said, cook for about 10 minutes. I will take the lid off then. I will throw on buffalo sauce to coat it. And then I'll put it back in for like maybe two more minutes and then everything should be done. So very, very quick and easy. And uh, it, everything is just so, so delicious. Also, I don't know if there's any other Futurama fans out there. I loved the show when it was on. And then I think in maybe 2013, 14, I ended up binge watching the whole thing. It's got new, a new season. It's been off the, the air since like 2010. It's got a new season. How exciting. If anyone else loves Futurama. And it's so funny because literally the day was the, the day that it came on, was the day that we got our new like robot vacuum and I always call it a robot vacuum from this, if you know what that is. Anyway, it's a robot, I always say that. Anyway, this also just happened to be starting on the same day. How exciting. All right, it is all done. Again, one of our favorite, favorite meals. And we are also oh, yeah. hungry, so I'm just gonna go ahead it's and- a lot of food. Yeah, it is. Uh, also, Gigi has requested a grilled cheese. <laughs> Well, hi friends, I'm just chiming in here really quickly. I uh, I just realized I did not vlog at all yesterday. So I wanted to, because <laughs> today's Wednesday, it's already Wednesday. Um, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog tonight because we're just kind of doing uh, something fun. We're going to see the Barbie movie tonight. But I was just thinking about it. I'm like, I didn't vlog at all yesterday because we have the super secret mission that I'm, I talked to Jessica. We're gonna do a and A, I think maybe on her channel next week or the week after. And uh, we'll talk about this super secret mission here that I'm, uh, to, has been taking up so much of my time. So yesterday I was dealing with that all day. Um, today I've been dealing with a lot of that. Today's been crazy. It's already, it's almost noon. I woke up at 6.30. I had a meeting at seven with one of my agents. At uh, 9.30, I had a meeting with about the super secret thing. At 11, I had a meeting with Royal Caribbean and I have a doctor's appointment at noon. And then I have another meeting at two this afternoon. So it's just been crazy. So uh, it's, it's, it's been good though. It's all good, good stuff, but crazy stuff. So um, I'm going to, I just wanted to quickly hop on here and say hi. Uh, we're gonna go see the Barbie movie tonight and that should be really fun and I'll uh, I'll talk more about some other stuff later But uh, as I'm here on my way to the doctor's appointment, I'm uh, it's like 79 degrees outside like no humidity It is beautiful. So I'm about to uh, Roll down all my windows and start playing Amos Lee's windows are rolled down. I think it's so nice Okay, it is 420. I need to leave here at 415 to go get the girl So I am running out right now. I was like I I wasn't gonna go on a run, but then we did a run Disney training. One of my agents did a run Disney training for all of us today. And I was so inspired after it. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go on a really quick run. So I ran out, did a 5k and I'm a little bit late, but that's okay. So I'm going to go get the girls, get back here, take a shower. And then it's time for the Barbie movie. Guess what time it is. Barbie time. Barbie o'clock. <laughs> it's funny. We were talking about, I was like, Jessica, I don't care what movie we go see. I'm just excited to go out and see a movie. Me too. So, I, I could have just gone and just said what what do you guys got playing yeah just done that but i am excited to see barbie because that was my favorite toy growing up as i think and many people my age such a was. big thing right now too like i feel like everybody's talking about it yeah. but you know what's funny is i keep seeing like people going to it but i haven't heard like anything about the movie which is kind of fun um but i'm wearing i am wearing my ken outfit i got the hot pink shirt i've got i don't know he's like it's a bright color right it's ken it's ken-esque yeah i went light pink Barbie because this is comfy because we're going to be eating and I told myself um, I just want to be comfy but I do want to wear 
something big. Yeah, I was gonna say, I haven't said, the, the place we're going uh, is a movie theater that also serves you dinner while you eat, or it dinner is the while greatest. you watch the movie. You get dinner while you're eating dinner. It it's is amazing. amazing. It's so good. No, but it is. I feel like there's a lot more of those springing up everywhere, yeah. and it's the greatest thing yeah. ever. And like, they have like, a, like during the movie, like, cause you get all your food beforehand, and then during the movie, you can like press a button and you can write down what you want and they'll bring it to you, like, so you're not interrupting you're things. like, I'd like more Sprite, It's please. so brilliant. It really is. So that's what we're what we're doing. My Day sister five. is watching the girls, and they were so excited. And she brought like all these crafty things to do with them. My other sister, I, no, I guess that doesn't make any sense. Anyway, Not the one, they were yeah. very excited. <laughs> Okay. the whole time it was so good i was just saying i'm like it's amazing that that nowadays we get movies that are so funny and so like Dramatic. deeply emotional like it was mm -hmm. so good i loved it it really was i knew it was like deeper than just like a barbie movie because yeah you, know, you read stuff and it's been out for a while but yeah yeah i did not expect to have the tears that i had yeah. beginning middle and end <laughs> it was cute it was very it was cute. cute and it was really good and, and if you have daughters movies. just get ready <laughs> Yeah, I was telling my sister that was here. I was like, Whoa. yeah, she also has a daughter. Yeah, so. I was like, Whoa, you. Um, anyway, so we're gonna end this vlog here. Um, we're doing a Q and A on your channel in the next week or so, right? Um, well, I don't know when. My schedule's already set, Tyler. We're gonna have to squeeze. Okay, it in I'll somewhere. see. I'll get my people with your I gotta, people. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we have like two big announcements to make at some point in the next couple weeks. We'll have to decide when we do oh, that. Oh, yeah. Um, so at some point, that will happen. And then we have, uh, I think we're going to try and do what we've been reading for the first half of the year on my channel at some point. I've gotten so many DMs about asking when yeah. we're going to do it. We normally do like the whole year at once, which is a lot. So in I December, think we'll do, it's too much, yeah. yeah. Um, and then a Costco vlog, which you guys know. And then, I don't know, it's just all kinds of fun stuff. So uh, be on the lookout for that. And thanks yeah. for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>